All right, everybody, welcome. Jeff Horton, Jeff Horton Band. Um, gonna do a quick review on the Supro Blues King 12. Uh, gonna talk about the amp as it is right out of the box. And then gonna talk about a couple of uh, real easy modifications that I've done to it to kind of make it a little bit more what I was looking for. Um, also want to address something right out of the box. Here's my black lab that's always around, Marshall. He's kind of my good luck charm. Um, <clears throat> they call it the Blues Junior Killer. That's become the nickname. And in my personal opinion, I've been a Fender guy, a Fender amp guy for a very, very long time. Um, I've had Supers, I've had Twins. Uh, I played a Blackface Deluxe for a real long time. I've had Princetons, I've had Blues Juniors, I've had Basements. Um, I think I've had about all the really cool sought after Fender tube amps. Um, and when it comes to the Blues Junior, it was a good amp in theory. And if they'd have used better parts, it probably would have wound up better. I actually had mine modded by a local guy. If you're around the Northwest Arkansas area and you ever need um, amp work done, I would talk to two guys, either Robert Spoon or Joe Twist. Um, but Robert Spoon did uh, all the mods on my uh, Blues Junior for me. And it was almost as much as I had to put into buying the amp, about half as much as I had to put into buying the amp to then pay for the mods to have it done to make it sound right. This amp, right out of the box, is it, it absolutely blew me away. Um, it's got real spring reverb. It's got a built-in uh, boost channel, which is a low mid boost. It's got a gain uh, switch. Both of these are controllable by a foot switch that you would have to buy uh, after the fact along with a, a slip cover. I wish it did come with the slip cover. It doesn't but you know you, That's how things go nowadays um, It's a master volume amp So it's a master volume and a volume your volume is essentially your gain uh, It's a three band EQ and I think I stated before it's it's real spring reverb and it sounds Great. I mean as a guy like I said that it was a fender amp guy. I love fender spring reverb I'm very very happy with this um, it's got a standby switch which for a 15 watt amp um, don't come across many low wattage amps like this that have a standby and I like having a standby for what that's worth to me that means something uh, if it means something to you that, that, that's something to address um, so right out of the box it comes with a Supro design uh, 12 inch speaker which for me was a little bit dark. Um, I definitely like low end, but I also like a little bit more sparkle on the top end. So I changed that speaker out to a Celestian uh, Neodium Magnet Creamback. Um, made the amp a little bit brighter, also made the amp a lot lighter. Uh, Neodium Magnet uh, speaker, I think that weighs 4.2 pounds. The other one was seven or eight pounds. So, you know, you save a little bit in weight and then I did a, another video that you can find out there. I actually did it yesterday on a preamp tube change. I put a 12 AU7 long plate from JJ's in the preamp section, which has given the amp a lot more uh, clean headroom until it breaks up. Without the boost channel on, here's the amp. Master volume wide open, volume wide open, guitar all the way up. heavily overdriving it was before you can maybe get the the volume the gain up about a little over halfway and then it would really start to break up now if you kick on the boost you get more Changing the AU7 also changed the gain structure on the on the gain switch. 
Um, I like it better. It, it breaks up a little bit less, but it still gives you kind of a, a gnarly. <laughs> Got an effects loop which I also like to run at JHS little black box um, I run that on my Marshall uh, a lot which I'll do a video on that amp eventually um, but it's got the effects loop so you can either run your tone shaping effects your your choruses flangers echoes that kind of stuff through there or you can run it through the board it takes pedals great um, and then it's the other cool thing about it it's got a padded line out that you can run to a board for recording, you can run to the PA if you're playing live and feel that you need a little more oomph, uh, you know, out front and you don't want to mic it, you can just run it, it's a quarter inch, so you can run that to your board. Um, or you can run it to, to power another amp, should you want to choose to do that. Um, I'm more of a blender, so I use an AV box and I'll run this and I've got a, a Marshall Studio Vintage um, that I'll, like I said, I'll be doing a video on that soon uh, so anyways Supro is it's a it's an incredible amp for the money I don't think you're gonna find more bang for the buck if you're local to Northwest Arkansas if you're in um, eastern Oklahoma southern you know was it southwestern Missouri uh, I would strongly suggest going and seeing the guys down at Arkansas Music Works in Bentonville um, they're all great guys they're a Supro dealer and uh, they'll definitely take care of you. In addition to that, should you want to do any of the mods that I've done with the tube change and the speaker change, they're also one of the biggest part ho uh, parts houses around. So you can order the speaker and the tubes right from them and kind of get it all in one package. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, write that in the comments. I'll do my best to get back uh, to you and uh, Thanks you all so much. Keep the blues alive.